Hey everybody, it's your boy Ralph Gittins. I'm here with another video concerning a problem that a lot of you probably experience with this controller right here. This is the GameCube replacement controller for the Nintendo GameCube and it uses on the Nintendo Switch as well for the release of uh, Super Smash Brothers that came out, right? On that, that was Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Right, this controller is really, really good and um, those of you who bought it may have had an ex uh, experience with Drift. Um, my problem was that I tried to use this on my Nintendo Wii because I have a modded Wii and I had the GameCube games on it and the GameCube games were drifting and they were not working properly. What I found out, and uh, actually watched it from another YouTuber, thanks for that YouTuber, is that uh, in the emulator that I used, I went into the settings and I turned on native settings. That's in the Nintendo emulator. Right, for the Wii, I went into the settings. I can't show it to you right now. I went into the settings and I changed it to native settings. Uh, change native settings to on. Right? How you get into that? You go into Nintendo and then you go into settings by pressing, well, after you access the SD card, you press B to go into settings and then you scroll down to native controls and you press A to turn on native controls and then you come out of settings and when you do that, the controller will work properly with all GameCube games on your Nintendo Wii in the emulator called Nintendo. Alright, for those of you who have an original GameCube, no fear at all. Once you plug in this controller into your original GameCube, it will work and it will work perfectly. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next in the next, in the next video.